So it's the end of March and the wind is actually kind of dying down a bit. In the winter, this is La Salle and there can be up to 200 swans wintering here. So I guess most of them have gone to their summer grounds. I've heard the ones in Erin are back there. Stanley with his new girlfriend named Erin. over there. I'm gonna make this uh, short because I'm gonna take some photographs but see if we can get trumpeters. The only two that are there really and then this little guy in front of me. Juvenile. Okay let's see if they'll uh, get their feet in the air. It's hilarious. They, they roll over. I never saw them do that in Aaron. Well, there's one eating, but... <laughs> so, I've never found any time spent with the swans ever wasted. In fact, they saved my life. Oh, wait, there he's going to go right over. So I'm just starting to tell my story out loud. The comeback of trumpeter swans after being gone for a century to their native home. And now the wind picks up, right? I come back and I see humanities come back. Time to fly. Did you catch that? Ugly duckling. It's a great metaphor, great story if you don't know it by Hans Christensen Andersen. In the 1800s, he was an outcast his whole life. So did the ugly duckling know it was going to be a swan? And it was bullied and abused and almost left for dead, like myself? But hang on, because a miracle story occurred. My message is stay alive, especially to the youth. Change and then stay safe narrative. That's a given, but stay alive.